We've been given rare access to ground zero of one of the world's worst nuclear disasters. We keep a radiation monitor close. It began with the strongest earthquake in Japan's history. The clock on the beach house still frozen in time. First the earthquake struck, then the tsunami submerged this third floor. Destruction doesn't describe it. The deadly wall of water engulfing entire communities. Slamming through the walls of Fukushima's power station. Knocking out backup generators. Meltdowns and explosions followed. Then the radiation came. The cleanup has cost almost $300 billion. Now, in many places, you don't need to wear a mask. It is stunning that I can stand here with so little protective gear on. The melted core of the reactors are just there. Deep inside, this video filmed by robots shows that melted core still highly radioactive. Outside, our radiation meter measuring 85 microsieverts per hour and more. The highest of our trip, safe for short periods. Two miles from the reactor is the town of Futaba. Gardens overgrown, homes abandoned in a hurry. Now only wildlife lives here. Futaba is a ghost town. Former residents Anthony Ballard and Philip Jellyman make short visits to take pictures. Hold on to memories. So this is home. This was home. I can see your you're in tears. Not quite, but almost, yeah. Fukushima's fish is making a comeback, each catch tested for radiation. But what to do about this radioactive water from the reactors, enough to fill 400 Olympic swimming pools? Officials say they may filter it and pour it into the Pacific Ocean. Scientifically, whatever the decision will be, there will be no problem. But many locals are not convinced. No. They should not. Mm. Katsuhai Dakara is 75. Anthony and Philip bring him pictures of his overgrown rose garden. We left with only our clothes, he says. But he hopes that one day he and others will be able to return to these silent streets, a home they have never forgotten, and a nuclear disaster the world will never forget. And of course, this summer, they hope to hold the Olympic Games in Japan. Now, the plan had been to showcase the recovery of Fukushima. Now, of course, it will be showcasing the recovery from coronavirus. Wow. That is fascinating. It's like a ghost. Watch. Thank you, Kier. Kier, thank like you so a, much. like a ghost town. It, it is. And it's amazing how life can come back, but you wonder if it's coming back the way it, it was or how that impacts. Right. I mean, would you eat that fish? No. We were just talking about that. Yeah. No. No. Uh, it's a fascinating story. You can catch the entire episode of Kier's Incredible World Hot Zones on our streaming channel. Head to today.com slash all day at 11 a.m. and 8 p.m. Eastern. That's a good story. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.